Hello, everybody. Welcome to the very first episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. That's right. That stands for T T A F G S. And this is the very first episode of the series. So, without further ado, let's be introduced to the first co- for well,、uh, first three contestants. So. First off, we have Thomas, then Percy, and then everybody's favorite little green guy, Mr. Lucky Charm. Hey, I wasn't told to be on the show. Me either. Who told us to be on the show? First, we have our own show. Now a spinoff series. This channel's getting weirder and weirder. I know, right? Well, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Hmm. Anyways, here's how this show or game show works. If you get a question right, you get points and might win a prize after this season. And if you got a question wrong, you would receive negative points, and you'll be. Forced to do work for a week. A week? That's like the first week of the month. Seven days. Wow! I don't want to do that. I know, right? I bring good luck, not bad luck. I know. I don't want to be there either. Anyways, on to the first question. What was the first game console? I had. Let's see if one of you three can answer it. Is the answer Game Boy Advance? Yes, Thomas. That was one hundred percent correct. You get one hundred points. Well, all of you guys start with one hundred points. I have to make it fair. Hey, are points supposed to be? There. Well, to save money, I created a scoreboard. It holds your points, just like the scoreboard on your table. See, it can only hold seven letters at a time. Oh, okay, that's fair. Sounds good enough. Fair for me. Okay, enough chit chatting. On to the next question. But listen carefully. It's a two-part question. Well, not a two-part, but you have two answers to choose from. What was Justin Studios' first Sega handheld? Is it A, a Sega Game Gear, or is it B, a Sega Nomad? Ooh, I know. Is the answer Sega Game Gear? That is absolutely correct, Mr. Lucky Charm. For that, you get two hundred points. Do do. Hey, why does my name only say Mr. Lucky? Why not Mr. Lucky Charm? Well, like I told you earlier, it can only hold seven letters. You dum dum. Anyways, we will be right back after this commercial break. Do you like Thomas and Friends? Do you wish he was in the movie theaters? Well, we have a solution for you. Introducing Thomas in his first movie. Thomas and the Magic Railroad. All aboard for a fun-fueled adventure in Thomas the Tank Engine's first film ever, starring Peter Fonda, Mara Win- Wills, Will, wait, wait, Wilson? Is that how you spell it? Okay, and Alec Baldwin. So will Diesel Ten get? The lost engine and the gold dust behind it. Find out in Thomas and the Magic Railroad 
only on v DVDs, VHS, and cinemas. Man, I wish I had a cool watch like my friends do. Well, introducing the new watch from VTech. The VTech Kitty Zoom Smartwatch DX2. Cool! It has multiple apps than the last VTech watch. It even has a front facing camera and a battery life of 72 hours. You can also play games on it like Mousy Maze, Ancient Adventure, Puzzle Swamp, Monster Hunters. Silly and monster yourself and educational educational games like balloon numbers, odd one out, and treasure hunt. Oh, and don't forget brain status. There's also many things you can do, like a calculate your runs, play games like you can run, I can run. You jump, I jump. You dance, I dance. And so many good 16 apps for you to play. Your child will be playing for days non-stop. Well, my watch doesn't have that kind of features. What? So get the VTech Kitty Zoom Smartwatch DX2 now. So call 1-800-VTECH-WATCH DX2. That's 1 800 V Tech Watch DX2 for a free watch or go to Target, Walmart, and Best Buy. V Tech Watch DX2 now available at three locations near you. Wow, that was the longest commercial break ever in the history of commercial breaks. Okay, anyways, on to our next question. How old is Justin Studios? I know, I know. Is the answer six? Percy, what do I look like, six? I'm not six. What is it, 2017 or something? By looking at me, you can already guess my age. The answer is no. You get a week of work and 100 negative points. No! Doo doo! Well, anyways, the question is still up for grabs. Who's gonna get the correct answer? Thomas or Mr. Lucky Charm? Is the answer 9? Nine? 9 going on 10? Correct, Thomas. That was the correct answer. You get 500 points. Doo doo! Um, Justin, what was the prize? You didn't mention it. Well, besides that other question, like the, what was. Justin's first Sega handheld. Oh, let me show you the prize. The prize is over there. Go over there and you will see. Well, okay. Come on, guys. Let's go. Got a buzz, cuz. Wow, cool. Man, that looks amazing. I agree. Whoa. Wow, that looks so cool. Oh, I wish I had it. Yeah, totally. Alright guys, it's time to come back. Anyways, I'm gonna give you all 200 points for no reason. Anyways, next question please. What was Justin Studio's first pet? Is it A, a fish? Is it B, a cat? Or is it C, a dog? The answer is A. Correct, Percy. You get 70 points. Doo-doo. 
Well, I guess seventy isn't much, but I guess I'll take it. Okay, now another question. Let's see if you guys know this one. It's about well, the year of Sonic the Hedgehog came out. When did Sonic the Hedgehog came out? Is the answer nineteen ninety one? Yes, Thomas. The answer is nineteen ninety one. You get three hundred points. Do do. Okay. Next one. What are the primary colors? Is the answer red, yellow, and blue? Hey, I was gonna say that. Me too. Yes, Thomas. The correct answer is red, yellow, and blue. You get. Eighty points. Do do. Okay. Final question. Subscribe to Justin Studios. I haven't answered all day. Is the answer yes? You should subscribe to Justin Studios. Yeah. Viewers out there, subscribe. Come on. We're near to sixty subscribers. Come on, do it for us. Okay, Mr. Lucky Charm. Since you got the correct answer, and you, Thomas, for encouraging the vi the viewers to subscribe, you both get one hundred points. Guys, that was the first episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to like. Comment and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Crackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Buddy, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. You know what? Get out! Get out and never come back, you freak! You big fat doofus! Sorry, everybody, that was a big mistake. Anyways, let's go back to the stage. <laughs> Anyways, let's introduce the contestants. So the contestants are a two-dollar bill. Thomas's twin brother Tidward and Charlie. He was surprisingly dumb for no reason. Anyways, today is a very special episode because all the contestants were randomly chosen from the Wheel of Names dot com. Anyways, let's start with an easy and warm up question. What is one times one? Let's see if you fellow contestants can answer this one. Is the answer one because it's the same as two minus one? Wow! Finally, we have a genius in the show. Yes, Tidward. That is the correct answer. You get one hundred points. Oh, and by the way, the reason why I didn't add any music or sound effects was because budget cut. So one of the contestants will we have to use to pay for the next episode. So yeah. Anyways, next question. Who won the American Civil War? Was it the Union or the Confederacy? Is the answer Justin from Justin and Friends? Charlie, that's a TV show, and that's not even a team. No, Justin from Justin and Friends. Wait a minute. I'm from Justin and Friends. Woo wee! I'm in two shows. Wow, that that's actually pretty cool. 
Anyways, no, dumb Charlie, I'm not in the American Civil War. It was a two-answered question, dumb dumb. That's it. You get 40 negative points, and you have three weeks of work. Three weeks of work? But I have to watch Justin Flames! Well, too bad, Charlie. You should have answered the Union or the Confederacy, dum dum. Man, even the laziest one in the show. But the answer is still up for grabs. No $2 bill. That is not the correct answer. The Miami Dolphins. They don't even exist in this world. Or I think. I'm just made out of paper with a stick controlled by a real life human. See? I'm just being voiced. Well, that's reasonable. But is the answer the American Civil... Well, not the American Civil War, but was it the Union? Corrected word. That is the correct answer. You get 300 points. And as for you, $2 bill... You only get 10 negative points. So you have six days of work. But it's just an object. It can't work. Plus, I don't even know how that thing was picked anyway. Just for talking back to me, Charlie, you're out of the Justin and Friends fan club. What? Please give me a second chance. I promise I won't talk back ever again. Well, there is no second chances unless if you pay $682,583 million for the Platinum fan membership. Because if you do, you get unlimited chances. Well, here's the money. I'll pay for you later. Well, okay. You better do, because if I don't see that money, you are doomed. But isn't the money right there? Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Well, uh, so, sorry, $2 bill, but I'm, I'm taking you. Alright, the, it's paid in full. Alright, now who's gonna be our new contestant? Oh man, this is gonna be rough. I need someone that can help this dumb dumb. Hmm, who should it be? Oh well, I guess I'll go to the back to see who will be the, the fur contestant. Man, I hope I get picked in the third episode. Me too, because if I do, I'll be the pride of the line. Hey guys, Justin's coming. Shut up. Hey guys. Oh, hi Justin. What's up? This is my first appearance on this spinoff. Yeah, I just have one thing to tell you. Since the $2 bill, which was luckily to be picked, by the wheel of names decided to be off of the show and uh i was wondering if one of you engines and uh electric engines can be on the show so who's gonna be on the show because we really need a third contestant well i want to go yeah me too on the Pride of the line. I should be on the show. No, I should be on the show. Somebody kill me. Well, I think I should be on the show. No, I should be on the show. I mean, like, look at me. I have a fabulous paintwork. Hmm, who should it be? Uh, let's see. Uh, Thomas or... 
Percy already went on a go. And, uh, well, uh, well, it is the end of the main series. And Thomas haven't had a job in weeks. So, uh, alright, James, I guess you can go. But teach that stupid Charlie a lesson. I want you to push him when you come on the stage so that way you and young Bao can go on the show together. Ah! Uh, uh, the camera. Oh, man. Wait, so you're saying that I can go on the show? Yep. If you... Ah! Stupid camera! If you want. Well, don't mind if I do. Haha, -ha, suckers! Well, I'm coming too. I've never been on a show before. Since Trackmaster Thomas and Friends, which recently ended for its first season. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, boys, let's go. Yay! Oh, man, I hate my life. Me too, Thomas. Well, lo well welcome to the club, boys. Man, where's the host? He should be here by now. I know, right? Do 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 Alright, that's enough. Anyway, sorry about that, viewers and fellow contestants. Anyways, we have a new two contestants. Two contestants? I thought there's only three on the show. Yeah, that's a little weird. To despite the fact that... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> now that's much better. Young Bao, wait, what are you doing here? I got picked as the new contestant, dumb dumb. Man, what, I thought you were too smart to figure that out? Yeah, coming through, I'm the pride of the line. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what's going on? There can't be... That's cheating, young Bao! What am I, Dumbo? Am I dumb? Well, you are lazy, and you do watch Justin and Friends all day. You don't even go outside and play. I mean, look how fat your face is. What? My face is not fat. Do-do-do. Okay, I guess you're right. I'll join Thomas and his stupid friends. Good. Screw you, Charlie. You're my lace. My least favorite person in Thomas and Friends, you, you stupid, you stupid doofus. Anyways, next question. What was Sega's last console? Wait, Charlie, what are you doing on the set? You're supposed to be with Thomas and his stupid friends. I heard that. Oh, shut up, Thomas. Okay, Charlie, you're supposed to be with Thomas and his gang and stuff. No one tells Charlie what to do. I want to be the fourth player in the show. Tom Charlie, that's against the rules. Only three players are allowed. If you don't let me be a fourth contestant, I'm going to sue your monkey behind. For two million dollars. No. No matter how hard you try to sue me, I will still refuse. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing? I'm taking this two dollar bill because you don't deserve it. Wait, Charlie, what are you doing? That's my last bit of my life savings. Oh, yeah? You think you can hide from me? Well, I just found your wallet. Wait, you mean my... My real life counterpart wallet? Yep, and I'm gonna show all the viewers your private stuff. Wait, don't! Alright, viewers, I got this wallet. Now let's go see what's inside.
I bet there's gonna be lost and stolen credit cards here. All right, let me go dig it out. Okay, so um, uh, so Charlie, don't you dare! I swear in the name of Puppy Jesus, if you do this, I am gonna call the police. Well, here goes nothing. Time to pull it out so the R IRS can see the numbers. Charlie, please don't, please. I don't want the IRS to find out I have. Dun 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 ding ding dun. On oh, my credit card, please don't. Okay, here are the numbers. So the numbers are. Beep. And the expiration date is. Beep. There. Now I told the numbers to the YouTube community. Now the IRS is going to find out. Charlie, what did you just do? I took out your credit card and showed it to the contestants. No, not only that, that was credit card theft, you idiot! The good thing I edited this out and censored all the stuff on my credit card. Wait, you did what? How's the IRS is gonna find out? Well, nobody will upload a censored, well, uncensored version of it on YouTube. So, I'm a cop. Wait, you a cop? Yep. And I never told you that, Charlie, so you're under arrest for credit card theft and blurting all the numbers out to these fellow contestants. Uh, I didn't hear anything. I was watching and recording this and putting earplugs on. Yeah, me too. Me three. Uh-oh, got a blast, cuz BOOM! No, you get back here right now! Well, sorry, viewers. It looks like we at the end of this episode. It wasn't my fault. Charlie was trying to do credit card theft in front of you guys. So, it looks like we'll just lend our final question in. So, the, the final question is, what was Sega's last console before... They became a third-party developer. Is the answer to Sega Dreamcast? No! I was gonna say that! You always say that! Why, you little... Wait, what, 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 wait, you know what, you're weird. Oh, yeah, stop it, stop it, Daddy. Will you shut up? <sighs> James, that was so cool. He's a nerd. Yeah, I know, right? Anyways, the answer is Sega Dreamcast. But then, in 2019, Sega released, in partnership with App Games, numerous Sega Genesis consoles and handhelds. And then, in 2019, they released the Sega Genesis Classic. So the, the Sega Genesis models are still continuing to this very day. Well, I guess that's true, James. You get 40 points. Anyways, viewers, that's the end of the episode. Episode 3 will come out sometime in August, but, well, this month. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye! Oh, and by the way, kids, the moral of the story is, don't show... Your credit card in public to other strangers unless it's their family members.
And if you steal someone's credit card, or gift card, or debit card, that's credit card flawed and you can go to jail. The end. Oh, and you will be sued for how much you, uh, did on your, your parents or somebody else's credit or gift card, so, yeah. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Episode 3. The reason why I look so different is because I took plastic surgery. So without further ado... Ah! Thomas, you just hit me so hard that the camera fell. And why did you do that in the first place? You're supposed to be with the other friends at the back. Well, Justin, the reason why I did that is because you were picked for a contestant in the Wheel of Names. Wait, what? No, 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 no. That can't happen. I'm the host. A host can't be a contestant. Well, now that happened. Now get to the board right now before I'll make salad sandwiches out of you. Okay, fine. You do look pretty cool, though. Anyways, if you were... Ah, uh, uh, stupid camera! You know what? I'm going to put a burial under it. Uh, uh. Okay, viewers, I did that. Now... Oh, and by the way, before we continue, in episode one, Justin miscounted the scores. So here are the actual scores. Do do. So that's 880 for me, 370 for Percy, and 500 for Mr. Lucky Charm. Now anyways, let's get to the first question. Yay! When was Space Jam released? No windows, Neptune. That wasn't the correct answer. You get 200 negative points and two weeks of work. Oh, and by the way, I upgraded the scoreboard. And it was only five bucks. Doo-doo! Uh, one quick question, Thomas. Where did you put... The video game consoles, well, besides the Game Boy Advance, because it is a contestant chosen for today's episode. Oh, I, I put it up there. Thomas, why would you put it up there? So it won't get broken. But it will be broken if it was an avalanche. Oh, shut up, Justin. Anyways, on to the next question. Hey, Thomas, you forgot my turn. I didn't answer yet. Oh, well, uh, my bad. This is the first time, ho well, me hosting this show. Okay, Justin, what's the answer? Is the answer 1998? Yes, Justin, the correct answer is 1998. Now, let me get this thing out of here. Alright, that's better. You get 400 points. Doo-doo! Anyways, with that out of the way, on to the next question. How many years does a monitor live? Is it A... 10 to 20 years, or is it B, 6 years? No, Game Boy Advance, that is not the correct answer. You get, well, 5 negative points. Doo doo! The question is still up for grabs. Who 
is going to answer it. Is it Windows Neptune or Justin? Yes, Windows Neptune. Finally, you get a question correct. It is the correct answer is 10 to 20 years. Finally, anyways, you get 60 points. Do do. Anyways, we will be right back after this commercial break. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do? Well, no fear, because we have a solution for you. Introducing, well, introducing a new product from Five Below, the Snagit Claw. This claw can solve all your life problems. It can open and close doors for the ladies. It can grab batteries, pencils, DS cartridges, crayons, a Super Mario Brothers game and watch. It can help you type on your keyboard. It can even carry your pencil carrier. Hey, I'm in a commercial. This is cool. Yeah, me too. Man, this is so cool. I've never been on a commercial on a game show before. Hey. You guys, be quiet. We're trying to do an ad for Five Below. It can even raise paper blinds. Ooh la la, look at that view. Including Sonic statues. One leg or all two legs. So you don't have to carry it with your bare hands. Snag it claw only from five below. Only two dollars. Space Jam a new legacy toys. Only from McDonald's. But a ba 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 Password to keep unwanted people from your devices. Add passwords to your electronics, you weirdos. Advice from Justin Studios. Fun fact, do you know that some TVs have secret buttons? They're useful if you lost your remote for the TV, so that way you always have that secret button. Secret buttons on TVs, perfect if you lost your remotes. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do in on a summer and winter day? You just wish you had a game console like your friends? Well, we have a solution. For you, introducing Nintendo's greatest handheld from the 1980s comeback, the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch. It has everything you, your Switch doesn't have. A timer with really cool secrets. Including a drawing song that you can listen to all night long.
and three amazing titles such as Super Mario Brothers from the NES in 1985 and became a smash hit ever since. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels only released in Japan which is a hard game for hardcore fans. And finally, we have Ball, starring Mario. Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch, available at electronic and toy stores near you. Do you want to know what's better, a Game Boy or a Game Gear? Game Boy or Game Gear? Well, we have an answer for you. Introducing the Sega Game Gear. A bright, beautiful color screen. A volume dial. A link cable that looks like an HDMI port. A cartridge slot, battery slots, and all the things that the Game Boy doesn't. And amazing games such as Sonic Chaos, an easy game for beginners. The bright, beautiful color screen, as we mentioned earlier in the stupid commercial. So, which one should you buy? A Sega Game Gear, only one hundred and fifty dollars. Aw oh, man, I have COVID. I wish I didn't have COVID. Well, we have solution for you: mask to protect you from COVID nineteen. Man, that was the longest commercial ever! That was the longest commercial break since episode one. Okay, uh, anyways, I don't have much time because, um, I have to do a premiere with Justin and stuff. So, we're just gonna get two more questions and then done with this episode. Whoa, 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 Thomas. You are not going to do any two more questions. Oh, don't do. Oh, Thomas, don't do two more questions. Me, I'm doing the questions. No, I'm doing the questions. You get back. You get back in the contestant zone while I do the rest. You did enough. Hey, you can't do that to me. You... You get back there! And that's it. If you're continuing to do that, I can also do this. Damn it! Hey, you can't do that to me. That's it. Oh, yes, I can. Speaking of that, you get 1573426897500 weeks of work. But Thomas, that's five years, I think. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, on to the... <laughs> Not on my show, you coward. Anyways, I'm the host for this. Thomas, you get back on the stage. And I have to find Windows Neptune. Wait, he's gone? He got murdered in the commercial? Well, that's great. Now I have to find a brand new contestant. Well, alright Game Boy Advance, change the scoreboard. I'll be right back. This wasn't the first time that this happened. This was the second time. Great. So 
now, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, I don't know. I don't know anything to do. Hey, Justin's coming. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Justin. What's up? Uh, nothing. It's just that the same thing happened in episode two. What, did Charlie show off your credit cards and stuff? What? No, he didn't do that. Yeah, that was an episode ago. Shut up, Charlie. Anyways, I just need one of you guys and girls to be on this episode. Well, it should not be that big of a deal. Pick me. Yeah, but the problem is, though, almost half of you guys been on the show, and I don't know who to pick. And it's a tricky one. Okay, uh, say, I didn't, if you didn't be on the show. I didn't. I didn't. I, uh, I didn't. Which I rather prefer. Oh, shut up, Lexi. You don't know what it's be, to be like on the big stage. Well, I guess that's true. I give you that. Great. That means... You three guys will be on the Wheel of Names. Alright, share the screen. Oh no, I already know this is not going to be good. Oh, be quiet. I mean, look at Thomas. He's been on the show. Look. Man, I wish Duchess was here. Or Kinji. But not Lexi. Well, I guess that's true. Share the screen, boys. So I'm recording this from my phone. Alright guys, let's do this. Well, I hope so. I hope I'm not picked. Well, I don't know. Let's find out. Well, TV, you have been picked. And you were chosen. What? I was chosen? I don't know. But I don't want to. Aw, oh, come on, Kenji. Please, this once. This once in your lifetime. Oh, okay. I guess I'll go. Sweet. Meet you at the front of the stage. See you later, guys. Bye, Kenji. Alright, that's enough. Anyways, guys, I'm back on the stage. Wait a minute. Why is Micro Windows Neptune on stage already? I thought he died. Well, go ask Game Boy Advance. Wow, that was a sad story. But luckily it got better in the end. Anyways, Kinji, since you were unexpectedly chosen by the Wheel of Names on screen on an episode of this game show for the first time, you have been picked. Yes, I know that. Tell me something I don't know. Like, how was he on stage? And how come he's not talking? Like Game Boy Advance. That's because they're objects, Kinji. Anyways, on to this question. Wait, did he? Wait, Thomas, did he change the scoreboard? Uh, yeah, but he didn't know that Kinji was coming. Well, that's okay. I'll do it. Two seconds later. Okay, I added Kinji on to the next question. When did Thomas and Friends came out? Oh, I know this one. Is it 1984? Wow, Thomas, I didn't think your brain was still sharp till this episode. Well, I guess that's true. I mean, it is true. So, you get... Hmm, let me think about it. 
But in this country, <gasps> Thomas and Friends came out in the 1990 in the U.S. But I guess I'll give you that. You get 60 points. Doo -doo. Well, time for our final question of this episode. When did the original Game Boy come out? Was it A, 1989? Was it B, 1999? Or is it C, 2009? Is the answer 1989? Congratulations, Charlie! Hallelujah! Well, whatever you name it, you add the correct answer finally and you get one thousand points one thousand points that's a record yep well not really the actual record is well uh one hundred thousand but still but that's the record. Well, not actually. The actual record is 5,000. So it's counting down. So this is the second record, Kinji, and you get 1,000 points. Do do! Anyways, viewers, that's all we have for today's episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Episode 3. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next episode. Bye! And we also added a new thing after I'm saying this. Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show was filmed in a live studio audience. Everybody, welcome to the Trackmaster Times and Friends Game Show! Buddy, please do not remake episode 2. We did that once, now we're doing it twice. Now please, I highly recommend you to be cute. Alright, if you want to be my co-host, just say yes. Yes! Uh... Well, uh, you are a dog, and, uh, I'm just a piece of paper with a face, arms, and legs attached to a pencil controlled by a human. So, uh, go knock yourself out, Cash. You can be the co-host. Yay! Thank you, Josh Dan. You're welcome, buddy. Now, uh, follow me to the studio, will you? All right, Cash. Uh, follow me to the studio. All right. I want. I want to take you to the studio. Come here, Cash. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Yes, that's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. And there you go. Now you're the co-host. Now let's just get back to the studio. You play with every fine on the floor while I did co-host. When I need you for something, I'll say bark, alright? Alright, but you can leave if you want. You are a dog. You have feelings too, so I'll go. See you later, Cashy Boo! Do 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 well, we've been using the same soundtrack for two episodes. I mean, when will I add a new soundtrack for once? Anyways, viewers, this is a brand new studio. So I'll go get the other contestants from the previous three episodes to see what they think. Come on down, guys. Wow, this is the new studio? It looks so cool. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, and even has a fresh, new-looking smell to it. Because the old studio, it cost so overpriced amount of money to complete an episode. 
Yeah. Well, the next episode will be a mile milestones. I guess we will do that again. Yeah. But this is only up to the viewers that they want to keep the new studio. I mean, after all, it is their decision. They're watching our content. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, guys, now you guys will be staying somewhere in the studio. Well, speaking of that, where we'll be staying in the studio. Oh, follow me. Ha, <laughs> Hi guys, this is Rob. You will be staying. Oh, and by the way, viewers and contestants and co-hosts, right there. See him? Yeah. All right. Okay. This will be the first Trackmaster Thompson Friends game show episode to be using the editing pick pack. Pick pack. If you wanna, if we can sponsor you, then. Uh, well, leave the comments below, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, was I supposed to say again? Oh, yeah, it'll be stop motion for these contestants. So, yeah. Anyways, this is where you guys will be staying. But the stop motion thing is only temporary. Tempor Beep! Temporary use, so yeah. So, anyways, this is where you guys will be staying. Justin, I have no words to say right now. The only thing I'm gonna say right now is from Percy. Take it away, Percy. Thank you, Thomas. Anyways, why did you make us stay in the room? Uh, budget downsizings because this new studio only costs like two million dollars. But isn't that wasting the budget though? Yeah, you're wasting the budget. And you have to change Percy's voice because it's starting to be scratchy. Yeah, you have to do that. Thomas, hit me in the chubbies. Okay. I guess I'll just use this for now on, but let's see if the viewers will like it, because, uh, yeah. Well, I'm well, glad you like your new voice, Percy. Oh, Thomas, why did you hit Percy in the chubby so hard? Uh, hang on, guys. Hold up, freeze frame. You guys see this picture? Our stupid host, Justin, is making us live on the third level. And plus, the TV is dead. Justin must be high as crap, and I'm going to tell him. Justin, are you high? Why would you ask me that, are you? Wow, I'm, I'm not high for your information. Why did you make us sleep in there? Because I didn't want you guys in the studio. Plus, Thomas, you shouldn't even appear in this episode. Now get in there now before I call the cops and say you press charges on my bank account. Oh, fine. Come on, guys, let's go. Hey! I guess it's just for the two of us, Kinji. Let's do it. Cut. Okay, good. Now, without those dumbos in the way, now let's go see who are the contestants. So, the contestants are Mr. Scissors, a Sonic statue with one leg, and a McDonald's Luca toy. 
Man, these contestants are pretty stupid, to be honest. Yeah! Why did you call us stupid, freak? Uh, no reason. Anyways, let's just get to the first question. Who is this YouTuber? Let's see if you guys can guess this. Yes, McDonald's Luca toy. That is the correct answer. You get 60 points. Do do. Okay, on to the next question. Wait, what's this doing here? Hey, Cash, were you doing something you're not supposed to do again? Hey! Get away from this fat boy! Let me put this here. Alright, good. Now, uh, let me go back to the studio. Alright, you be a good boy, buddy. Alright, anyways, uh... On to the next question. Who is this? That's me, you idiot! Damn it, you're not supposed to be here! Get out! No, that is me, you idiot! You should know who I am! I'm a top baller! Team Take It to JoJo! You should know my name by now! Oh... Well, uh, I, I guess, uh, well, I'm just gonna go say Mr. Scissors got the correct answer. He gets 100 points. Do. Alright, Thomas, thank you for the information. But back in the draw you go. Wait, please, don't, don't, please, please don't be good. Ah! That's better. Anyways, we will be right back after our commercial break. Have you ever wished you had a cereal that comes with a free toy? And not introducing Pop Nut Cheerios with a free toy. You can win Mr. Lucky Charlie or any other character with a mascot. Have you ever wanted a pet that is always beside you and become a good friend? Well, introducing dogs. And dogs like Cash. Cash is your average, everyday, kind, diehard, innocent little puppy. He's cute. He's cuddly. I'm looking to Cash. And he has cutie eyes, which is the DNA of a cutie puppy. And he likes it when you handshake his paws. Dogs are humans too, but they're not humans. And they sniff on their buck wax. So yeah, dogs, perfect in case if you want a child to not be lonely. And they're highly expensive too. And they're not potty trained as cats. Dogs, a great way to make your money disappear. Because owners lie to you, so they will never see the, the puppies again. Beds for dogs, perfect for beds for dogs. Like you, she be, you she be, boy, be, boy, she be, she. The butcher, butcher's language. Only available for the doggy woggies. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? 
Don't miss the new adventures of Cat. Coming soon to a channel near you. 80 Cent Off Cheerios. Perfect for Cheerios that taste like 80 cents off. Two can play that game. Only rated R and available on DVD and digital download. The Big Bang Theory Holiday Episodes. Only available on DVD. Medea Goes to Jail. Only available at Costco for only 18 to 30 cents. Alright, listen. I know we did a commercial about this in episode 1, but I just want to tell you that Thomas and the Magic Railroad is doing a giveaway. And, yeah, so if you guys contact me, I'll send my Gmail in the description, so that way you guys can win a free Thomas and the Magic Railroad DVD in mint condition. Actually, that's a fake giveaway. Shut up, Cash. You're a stupid idiot. Morphin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Only for 2,700, 9,000, 82,000, 800,000, 782 million trillion dollars. Hey! Buddy, get, get back! Chase, Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Where is that stupid black mutt? <laughs> hey, buddy, you want this, right? You want it? You want it, buddy? No? How oh, do I get this stupid mutt to get? How oh, how about this? Oh, buddy! You want the squeaky elephant? Huh? Do you? Do you want the, squee the squeaky elephant, you stupid freak? Huh? Who wants the squeaky elephant? Want it, buddy? You want it, boy? Squeaky elephant. Perfect for dogs like this guy. Well, we're back, and, uh, yeah. So, all the commercials were good, but all most of them were just focused on cash. But, anyways, on to the next question. What number am I thinking of right now? Hang on, guys. Before you answer that, I'm going to close this door because it's bringing too much noise. Mom, can you please stop bringing up the noise? It's annoying. So please, please stop using the noise. Thank you. Have a nice day. Sayonara, mommy -ama. I don't know what I just said there, but let me go back to the studio. Alright guys, what is the answer? Yes, Mr. Scissors. It, that is the correct answer. The number I'm thinking of right now is 21. Because it's the year 2021. Get the picture? Alright, anyways, you get 60 points. Do do. Well, that was weird. Well, uh, alright. Uh, hey, fat boy! Wait, who said that? Hey, fat boy! You wanna fight? Because I fight you back, you know? You know? Your mom's so old, she, I bet she's older than your grandma. How? Oh, take that! Take that, fat boy! Yeah, take your sick fat boy! You know what? I'm gonna come to you right now, fat boy! Yeah, I'm gonna fix you good, fat boy! You're so fat! I bet you're fatter than your dog because your dog is less fat and you're more fat. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Hey, take that fat.
Oh god, not him again. Somebody please kill me. Well, oh yeah, I'm gonna annoy you all day, fat boy. Ah, <sighs> I'm afraid this day will come. Alright, what do you want from me? Do you want my heart and soul? Because I can give you that. Alright, fat boy. Since you don't know what the Pac-Man dance is, I guess I'll do it in front of you. Boy. Well, you can be the host. I have to do the scripts for the Trackmaster Thompson Friends Game Show, Episode 5. Anyways, fat boys, on to the next question. I know, right? Tell me about it. What is this? <laughs> Nintendo Game Boy, so it's a Game Boy. Correct, Fat Boy. You get 200 points. 200? Well, I changed my mind. He's better than Justin. Do do. All right, Fat Boys. On to the next question. What is this? And quit the music. To make it Pac-Man. All right. Now the music is Pac-Man. Anyways, what is the answer, fat boys? Yes, fat boy. The answer is the Game Boy Events. You get 600 points. Doo doo. Anyways, fat boys, that's on. That's all for today's episode. See you in episode five. Wait a minute. We can't go yet. We have two more questions and a commercial break. Are you questioning me, fat boy? Uh, yes. We have to do a commercial. Ah, uh, fine. We will be right back after this commercial break. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do? Do we have a solution for you introducing the Nintendo Game Boy? The, the Game Boy is a fine gaming system. For kids, and it makes an extra streaming low price of eighty nine ninety five. It has classic games such as Super Mario Land, Texas, and so much more. The Nintendo Game Boy, only from Walmart. <laughs>
What the Mask, only available in the App Store and Google Play. Hi, Fat Boys. That was the commercial break. Now it's time for our final question. We have a question we'll be the next episode. What is my name, Fat Boy? Is it A? Why? Is it B? Fat Boy. Alright, let me try my best to try and answer this one. Uh... Is the answer a bike? Yes, fat boy. The answer was correct. You get 20 points. Doo doo. Anyways, fat boy, this is all we have for today. Tune in next time. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the fifth episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Here are the contestants. So the contestants are Thomas, Snagitlaw, and Windows 7. Hey, this is my first appearance on the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Yep, it is. Isn't it Harold Jr.? Yeah, it is. Wait, Harold, you have a son? Of course I do. He's my main bud. Well, that's interesting. At least Gordon's wooden and not Trackmaster. You take that back! Oh, just make us get in there already. All right, if you say so. Oh, wait, let me clear all this stuff away. Okay. I got this out of the way. I got that out of the way. This, uh, that. Ooh, Bachman Thomas. We'll add that to the show. All right. So we got this. Uh, Trackmaster Gordon's corpse. We got Wooden Thomas. This. Hey, fat boy. You want to fight? Get out, bike. All right. It's all clear. Time for you guys to get in there. Well, okay. Say, Johnny! Yay, Papa! Well, with that out of the way, on to our first question. What song am I playing right now? Wait, he's doing the moonwalk? I know, right? That's insane. Okay. Answer Smooth Criminal? Yes, that's right, Thomas. It is Smooth Criminal. You get 80 points. Doo doo! Wow, the first person got this answer correctly. Let's see who will be getting negative points. Alright, on to the next question. What is my favorite Michael Jackson song? Is the answer Billie Jean? That is right, Windows 7. You get 100 points. Doo doo! Alright, no one got negative points. Let's do another question. When did Michael Jackson die? Was it A, June 25th, 2009, or is it October 2008? That's it, Snagger Claw. That was the correct answer. You get 20 points. Doo doo! Who is this? Is the answer 
Victor, Victor? That's it, Thomas. You get 200 points. Doo doo. Anyways, on to our commercial break. Available on the App Store and Google Play. Dang it! Charge your iPads. Before your son gets it. Did you know that if you have this chair, there is a secret zipper under here? Yeah, that's right. There's a secret zipper on this chair right under here. And see, this is all you can see. Because there's no place like hiding your son's electronics in here. Secret drawers in chairs. Only available at chair houses. Make your grandchildren blankets so they can remember it when they turn 18. Dudes, watch this! What the? Glowing picture frames only at Walmart. Alarms that look like this, 
Only at a place where you get these. The Lego Movie 1 and 2, only available at Giant, or any place with DVDs. The Cosby Show Season 2, only available on Amazon. Tyler Perry's Medea's Family Reunion, only available at Walmart. Heroes Season 2. Only on NBC and on DVD and digital download. Medea goes to jail. We just did a commercial about this in episode 4. And don't miss Martin, the complete fifth season. Only available at Walmart. Doggy treats. Available at PetSmart. Well, it looks like we're back from our commercial break. Anyways, on to the next question. What percentage is my phone on? Is it A, 9%, is it B, 1%, or is it C, 60%? Oh, come on, no one guessed that one? It's 9%. You guys get nothing. Anyways, on to the next question. How much money is in there in coins? Is it A, $12.04, or is it B, $100.82? Uh, is the answer $12.04? Wow. Just wow, I didn't even realize that question was so easy. Well, I guess you're right, Thomas. You get 800 points. Doo doo! Alright, we have two more questions left. What is this? Justin, you think you're stupid, right? You, you think we're stupid? That's obviously a Bachman version of Thomas. That is the most easiest question on the show. It's a Bachman Thomas. Yeah, it's a Bachman version of me. How can you think it's a hard question? Because this guy doesn't even know what a Bachman Thomas is. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Lucky Charm doesn't know what a Bachman Thomas is. I don't even know who I am. But I guess you're right, Windows 7 and Thomas. I think you guys get, uh, 10 points each. Doo doo! Well, on to our next question. What is this? Wow. Well, I guess it is. You get 20 points. Doo -doo. Well, anyways, time for our final question. Will there be a girl host in this show? Is it A, yes, or is it B, no? Um, Justin, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt you, but I just want to say, look at my iPhone. Uh, okay. Alright, so you see this, right? Uh, yeah. What about it? Alright, let me go to Justin's YouTube channel. And scroll down here. Click here. See that? Contestant results hey guys, for the Trackmaster Tom Springs Game Show, Episode 5. Yeah, yeah, what about it? But I just want to tell well, you Well, listen guys to this that. part. Today is the first time that you guys get to vote on the Trackmaster Thompson Friends game show. But the first three votes were taken. Yeah, I know the first Don't three worry. votes were taken. In episode six, you guys. Yeah, just you get to the. So yeah. Wait. Let's let me rewind it. Game show. But the first three votes were taken. 
Um, but don't worry. In episode six, you guys, you guys can vote. So yeah. Wait a Let's minute. Let's see. Who I need to get to the part will. where you say that Let's it's gonna be a girls already. episode next episode. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah. And what did you say? Uh, in episode 7, it's gonna be a girl's episode? No, wrong. Next episode. Wait, what? You're not the boss of me. I am the mascot of this channel. You. I do the rules here. But first of all, Thomas, I created this show, and you don't have the rights to it. I'm looking at you, Mattel. Alright, Thomas. Next episode will be a girls' episode, and I guess they're right. You get ten points. Doo doo! Anyways, viewers, this is the end of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show episode 5. See you guys in episode 7. Bye! Ah, uh, yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show, Episode 6. Four more episodes go, and we make the finale. So, here are the contestants. James, Thomas, and Percy, the three main characters of the actual show, Trackmaster Thomas and Friends. All right, everybody. Let's get to our... Pff, not so fast! Wait, who said that? What the, Emily? That's right. Today's a girl episode. You promised that last episode, Justin. Oh, man, I don't want to. Get out or else. All right, fine. Come on, Thomas, Percy, and James. Let's go in here like the rest of them. Oh, no, childhood flashbacks. Do, 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 do. It's ABC123. That's the easiest song in the world. <laughs> I hate you, Dad. Anyways, with that out of the way, this is the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show Girls. And you are the contestants. Duchess, Lexi, and Poppy from Trolls. Alrighty, it's time for our first question! The leader of the Jackson 5. Uh, is the answer Michael Jackson? That's correct, Poppy. You get 500 points. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, peasant, what do you want? Listen, no one gets 500 points on my show. This is my show, not your show, Emily. Yeah, right, and there are only three questions. How about this? We get three questions, you get three questions. Deal? Ah, fine, deal. Now let's shake hands. Good. Now go back in the drawer. Ha, ah, okay. All right, here's a question for you, Duchess. Who is Thomas's girlfriend? Is it A, Poppy, or is it B, Duchess? Poppy? Yes? Did you date Thomas? Uh, no. Come on! Check it out. Come on, Percy. 
see. Huh? Oh no, I do a new job! Percy, what are they doing? I don't know, Get up. but I just don't know. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> the Trackmaster Thompson Friends Game Show Studio, and there has been a fight. So two of engines of each gender will beat the crap out of each other. But isn't hitting a girl bad? Oh, shut up! Ow! Ow! Ooh, ow! Ee, ow! Ee, ow! Ooh, ow! Ah! So, whoever wins gets to get your their first turn on the game show. On your marks, get set. You can stop it now. It's going a little bit too weird. Oh, be quiet! Well, should we fight? I'd rather not. But we can play fight. Okay. Well, it looks like they're passed out, so the winner is Team Boys. Yeah, we did it! Oh, brother. So they get to choose the next question. Yes! Take that, girls! I guess boys rule and girls drool because girls drool over dun 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 dun. Because they're so precious and so hot like the sun. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess that's true. Girls drool over handsome boys after all. Yep, me and Percy proved you right. So, boys rule and girls suck. Ha, ha, ha. I wouldn't say girls suck, but to my surprise, uh, I'll go with it. Yeah, me too. Anyways, let I'm going to be the host. Ha! Do, 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 do. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Episode 6. Wait, so this is 5 and 6, so yeah. Anyways, on to our next question. Who is my girlfriend? Po Poppy or Duchess? Me! Correct! You get 2 million, actually, uh, 268 points. Yay! Doo doo! Okay. Anyways, on to our next and final question. Oh, we haven't had a commercial break. All right, let's do commercial break. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Are you bored? You don't have anything to do? Well, we have a solution to you. Introducing Well Played's newest product, 
The SpongeBob SquarePants Pineapple House. It features SpongeBob and the Pineapple House. And at the back, it doesn't even look like the Pineapple House because there's no other room than just the living room. So, if you wanted to know what it's like in person, then here it is. Ta-da! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. So, get the SpongeBob SquarePants Pineapple House. Only available at five below. Shrek 2-Disc Special Edition. Only available at Target. The Wiz. Only available at Walmart. Hellboy 2. The Golden Army. Only at Cinemas. Thomas and Friends All Engines Go. Premiering on September 13, 2021. Only on Cartoon Network, Cartoono. Thomas and Friends, All Engines Go, Race for the Sodor Cup. Only in cinemas, September 17th. Don't eject sleeping drugs in your body. If you do, you'll end up like Michael Jackson. Alright, our last commercial was pretty sad. And a live lesson. So let's get to the final question. What is this? Oh, wait. I'll let Lexi answer it. Uh, is the answer a punch along version of you? Correct. You get 600 points. Do do. Anyways, viewers, that was the episode. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Do 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 Alright young bow, what am I supposed to do again? Oh for the last time Emmett Host Track Master Thomas and Friends Game Show Episode 7 Oh okay Alrighty I just know he's gonna fail Yo Cassia Oh, hello, young Val. What are you doing? Nothing. I just want to tell you that Emma is hosting the show. <gasps> what? Yeah, that's what you don't see every day. Well, that was the most shocking thing I have ever heard. Yeah, tell me about it. Anyways, if you excuse me, I have to go on a ride with Harold at 8 because it's 8 o'clock. See ya. Well, that was just awkward. Yay, I made it. All right, Harold, lift me up. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, next time I have to work on landing. Ugh. Well, that was fun. Anyways, hit the game show. Do 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 Hey everybody Emma, what are you doing here? Hosting the show, of course. But are you supposed to be in a trap master Thomas and Brent's Halloween special? Nah Well it already happened. We're working on the Halloween special too. Well, are you supposed to be doing that? No, Justin was late, so I have to be the host. Well, okay then. Anyways, on to the first question. What is this? Oh, uh, is it a Nintendo Wii? That's it, Lexi. You got the correct answer. You get 20 points. But how do I know it's 20 points? Oh, you just look at the scores at the end of the episode. Anyways, on to the next question. How do you turn on a Sega Game Gear? Alright, that's it. I have enough. This is stupid. Aw, oh, come on, Gordon. Just answer the question already. No one cares if you're stupid or not. Alright, fine. Let me show you. When it comes to have a Sega Game Gear, first... You have to turn on the switch right here. 
And there, see, you turned it on. It's fully working and everything's a okay. Wow, I didn't know that. All right, Gordon, you get a uh, 40 points. But that's not fair. I got 20 and he got 40. Yeah, that's because he showed us how to turn it on. Anyways, uh, on to our third question. Man, this is going a breeze. I wish the tank engine was on the show. I swear to God if it's another what is this or what is that question. Alright everybody, what is this? Look on the top right. The top right. Oh yeah, it's a Game Boy Advance video. Uh, thank you James, you get uh, 20 points. So anyways, on to our next question. Any, I mean, let's go on a commercial break. Don't miss the brand new track master Thomas and Friends Halloween special. Only on Justin Studios. And don't forget the track master Thomas and Friends Halloween special too. Coming soon. Are you tired of the same old boring jobs every single day, 365 days a year? All right, Thomas. Here's your load. This is just a cameo, not an actual appearance of me. But we have a solution for you. Introducing the new toy from Mattel. Introducing the Tiger Rescue Set. Get a Trackmaster train and watch it go up the hill. Watch out. Oh no, the gate! And look at that poor baby tiger! I'm on it! Push the switch, and then he will go. The baby tiger is rescued. But how do I get out? By a push of a button. Thomas will fly out alive. Woohoo! That was fun. I want to do it again. The Thomas and Friends Tiger Rescue Set. Only available at Walmart, Target, and other toy stores near you. Pee pee! Help! Help! I'm going too fast! Help! Oh no! The points! Someone! Anybody! Change the points! so you don't have to crash into anybody or anything. And we're back on the show again. How a miracle. Anyways, uh... Sorry that was a, a short commercial break for you guys. Uh, we have to get this episode out. And, uh... Uh, yeah. But actually, tomorrow, the next episode is the final episode. <gasps> what?! That's right, viewers. The next episode is the final episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show ever. So if you want to vote who is going to win, go in the comment section below and vote. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, right. Anyways, viewers, if you want to vote which contestant should win on the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show, then, uh, then here are the contestants you can vote for. Thomas, Percy, Mr. Lucky Charm is in here. James, uh, Charlie, uh, Tidward, Duchess, Lexi, Gordon, Poppy, and all the other gang, and the rest of the gang to vote. Voting lasts from October 8th to October 17th. To see who will win, I'll be count- Actually, Justin will be counting the votes. 
and, or uh, actually he's counting the points for every character on the show. He's going to rewatch every single episode of Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show. So yeah, anyways, on to our final question. What is this? Uh is the answer No, you're not a tank. You're a tender engine. Gordon, uh is it a game and watch? That's correct, Gordon. You get a uh, tw- 20 points. All right, here's the final scores. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the second last episode of the show. I hopefully to see you guys in episode 8. Bye! Hello everybody! Welcome to the final episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show! The final episode? You bet, my blue tank engine friend. And we have all the votes. Hey, someone put God there? That was right. That's Justin's grandmother. Ah, God, 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 God. Silence! Yes, Jesus. Anyways, there's a plot twist. And what type of plot twist? There's no plot twist in voting. Whatever, James. Also, contestants and non-contestants from the show can vote. (gasps) Oh my god. Yeah, but there's another plot twist at the end. Well, okay. So, contestants, whatever people are in the show... Let's get voting! Soon, all the contestants voted, and not a single one didn't. And remember, you can only vote one character. Alright, we're done voting! Alright, now bring in the votes, people. Votes, votes, get the votes. We need to vote so we can win. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, whatever. Alrighty, everything came back. Hey! Ah, what's going on here? Justin, what are you doing here? Well, I think it's time for me to tell you idiots that these, some of them are actual contestants, but some of them are not. Well... Did you guys vote? Yes. Then get in there. Yes, Justin. Anyways, the votes came back. Time to see the votes. So, 18 votes for Thomas, 2 votes for Percy, 6 votes for James, 1 vote for Tidward. Oh, man. Uh, three votes for Emily, uh, seven votes for Duchess, nine votes for Gordon. I'm the Big Express, but not as big as me, buddy. Oh, man. Four votes for, no, let's see, uh, eight votes for Mr. Lucky Charm, uh, six votes for Mr. Scissors, Sonic Statue with one leg got two votes. Uh, Mr. Lucky Charm, wait a minute. Oh, that was McDonald's Luca toy! Got, uh, eight votes. Mr. Lucky Lucky Charm got nine. And then God? Who the heck put God on here? I think it was your grandma. Oh, yeah, I just have one thing to say to you, Grandma, if you're watching this. God isn't in the show! Silence! Yes, God. Anyways, that's all the votes. So, who won? Thomas did with the most votes. All right! In second place, 
uh, we got n nine votes for Mr. Lucky Chon. I mean, Gordon. Huzzah! And, uh, in eighth place, we got McDonald Luca Toy. But that's just in points. Let's see the actual points we got. Based off on every single episode of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show. Let's take a look. Alright, these are the actual votes. Well, I mean points that each character got from each episode. Ah! Uh, don't touch the votes. Sorry. Anyways, let's see who's the winner. Alrighty, remember, there's only three winners. Alright. So, oh my god. These votes look jacked up than ever. Alright, so Thomas isn't in first place. None of you are in first place. Charlie has a record of 50,000 points. Jesus Christ. And in second place, we got Spencer. And third place, we got Dash. So, I guess those are the winners. Wait a minute. They're not the actual ones. I think someone swamped up with the original points. You know, Thomas, that's actually a good point. I wonder who did it. All right. Here's one thing. Charlie? Yes? Did you switch the votes? No. Did Justin do it from Justin and Friends? Yes, I did do it. Aha! So I was you, Charlie. Come with me. All right, Charlie, look. Hey, look, 40 points. That isn't so bad. Look on the left. 40 negative. That's right, Charlie. Ha! Ah! And that's what you get. And so the Lego people voted. Who are a racist? Anyways, it's time to see the votes. So... And, uh, in third place, we got, uh, Percy! Yeah! Come with me. All right, Percy, this is the top three winners mountain. Oh, boy, where do I go? Uh, okay. You know, this actually kind of feels good. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it feels so good. Ugh. Okay, that's a little bit weird. And, uh, and, uh, in second place, we got Mr. Lucky Charm. Mr. Lucky Charm? Oh, yeah, I forgot. He went to state New York. Well, that will save his spot. And now, for the number one winner. Yes, he is Tom Bolanu. T Tank Engine JoJo. Wait a minute. This was based off on episode one. Oh, I get it. Me, Percy, and Mr. Lucky Charm were the first three contestants on the show, and we're the first three winners on the show. You know, Thomas, that's actually a good point. What a neat little idea. Thank you, writers. Anyways, Thomas, you go in the first place spot. Oh, boy! And there you have it, folks. These are the three winners of the Trackmaster Thomas and Friends game show. Yeah, but what happened to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 uh, places? Oh, don't worry, Gordon. Let's just put them in order. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. It said here Kinji got 1,000. Percy got 370. 
I'm so confused. That means Mr. Lucky Charm has to be in this spot. And that means Kenji would have to be in second place. Wait, let's do something. Oh yeah, it's like that. So I guess these are the three winners. Hello, Thomas. Oh, hey, Kenji. You know, I wasn't expecting to be in this spot. Yeah, me either. And that means I belong in this spot. Oh. Wait a minute. Has anyone seen Windows 7? Ugh. Oh, sorry, I was like, I got in the fight. Get out of the way, stupid. <sighs> Where I belong. Okay. That was a little weird. So, this is all the contestants. We added some extra ones. So, well, viewers, I guess it's time for our goodbye song. Hit it, Kenji! Goodbye, goodbye, we knew each other since episode one, we answered some questions, we even said, hey, get out, Justin, but the thing is, we like to say goodbye, goodbye, oh, say goodbye. Bye! Hi! Hello! Goodbye! Look, 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 And funny things, too. We added some jokes that are really weird, but who cares? So, goodbye, goodbye. We had fun things, too. So we would like to say goodbye. Goodbye. Dun 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 dun. dun. We'll miss you, Trackmaster Thomas and Friends Game Show. Yeah. Woohoo! That's right. Yippee!